day number five, March 17th, 2017. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, those abs are coming in. Uh, starting to really lean out. It is 5.36 a.m. Um, let's check this weight out today. Today's gonna be a crazy action-packed day. And uh, looks like I'm at the same weight I was yesterday, 179.6. So, uh, still not bad. Um, like I said, that's uh, not a huge drop, but uh, like I said, I'm definitely leaning out. And uh, you know, just five days in, I'm excited to kick this day off. So it's quarter after 8 a.m. Uh, on St. Patrick's Day. Um, just finished one session with uh, one of the most supportive people in my life, and uh, I'm so lucky to uh, to have her um, in my life. Um, much, much more um, than a client. And uh, I'm sure she'll be uh, she'll be featured on one of these episodes pretty soon. But uh, um, that session is, is over with, and I'm heading to another session at the Country Club, nine o'clock, um, a class at ten o'clock, and then it's going to be some boxing today, uh, twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, and five thirty. Um, so a great Friday, action packed. Um, still planning on not eating. You know, a meal until 4 p.m. today, the minimum. Um, it'll probably be after 4 since uh, I'm teaching a class at 4. But uh, I have my water, uh, my branch chain amino acids. I'm, uh, I'm well prepared for the day, and the energy is sky high. So we're off to a great start. It's about 11.30, uh, and uh, three sessions in the books. Just taught a body pump class. Uh, that was a first. Uh, never done that before, but uh, totally good experience. Uh, great, great environment. Uh, but anyways, on my way to my next session, teaching a boxing class at 12, so I got about 20 minutes to get there. And then we got a session at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, 5.30. The grind does not stop. No food, I feel great, I feel fantastic. And uh, another great day. 5.10 St. Patrick's Day. Just finished the four o'clock class. Uh, I had a uh, 50 gram protein shake right before class. Uh, that was my first meal of the day. Energy feels great. I'm about to have my second meal uh, in between classes, which is three eggs, three pieces of bacon, a, uh, an avocado for my fats, and uh, killing it today. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys my cheat meal later on tonight. And uh, killing the day. Energy's high. I feel great. Um, just uh, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying this and uh, like I said I'll, I'll be eating much more coming up later tonight got one more class at 5:30, and uh, and we'll get out of here and, uh, and get some real food so talk to you soon two minutes to seven March 17 2017 st. Patrick's Day I just finished my uh, 530 class here at title and uh, the energy tonight was was pretty good um, from a physical standpoint and a class standpoint um, like I said, I, uh, after I was done at the country club, I had a 12 o'clock class, a 1 o'clock PT session, 2 o'clock PT session, 3 o'clock PT session, 4 o'clock class, 5.30 class. So the night is officially over for me. I'm going to try and hide and get a little bit of relaxation for the rest of the night. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a, uh, a little cheat meal here pretty soon. But uh, like I said, I, uh, I prepared myself for today. Um, not only mentally, but you know, with my food as well. Uh, I had that quick bite to eat with the protein shake at four, and then I had my eggs right after that class, and now I'm going to uh, have my oatmeal here in a little bit. I mean, that's three meals right there, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to my little, uh, my little earned meals, what I call it. So, uh, you know, energy is high, laser focused, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited for, uh, for the rest of the night and to see how I feel tomorrow. Seventeenth of March is coming to a close. Day number five. It's ten fifty-five p.m. on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I apologize for the raspy voice. Um, the classes take a lot out of me. Is uh, I take a lot of pride in my energy that I bring to a class, and uh, I just feel like the people who show up for my classes 
um, they deserve to be given everything that I have for that hour. So I, I try to give everything that I can for that hour long session. And so, um, you know, this is the part that not a lot of people see is, uh, you know, by the end of the night, throat hurts from talking so much, from yelling, and, uh, you know, the body aches. But uh, overall, you know, I, uh, I feel really, really good. I apologized for the lack of, you know, action shots today. Uh, like I said, today was just a crazy day. And, um, you know, one of the keys that, you know, set me up for today to succeed was the fact that I was prepared. And um, I knew what I was coming into today mentally. So um, I had prepared myself mentally, you know, my thinking. I was, I was thinking the right thoughts. I was telling myself I can do it. Um, that helps out a lot and it goes a long way. And then also from a nutrition standpoint, you know, I had my meals prepared for today, so I was ready to go. As soon as four o'clock came, boom, I was ready to go. And, um, you know, I did not stop um, on the way home and grab my, my earned meal, as I had said before. Um, I came home and had some grass-fed burgers, some broccoli, jasmine rice, and an avocado. Right now I'm sipping on my 50 grams of a protein drink. And uh, I have my, uh, my almond butter as my dessert. So um, I'll grab my earned meal sometime this week. But like I said, day five, uh, crazy busy day. Um, I wish I would have shot more for you guys. It was just, uh, it was an exciting day. So words can only, only say so much. But, you know, um, find, find something that you want really, really bad. Whether it's you know from a from a lifestyle change, change and like you know losing ten pounds in a month, or uh, you know saving up money in your bank account, like you got to write down the goal, and not only putting the the time frame in it, like that's that's what you need. You know, if I want to lose ten pounds in one month, um, you know we have four weeks, we have ten pounds, awesome. So now what are you going to do to get there? You know, um, that's how I kind of look at mapping out my strategies, and so I have you know, 30 days for this, you know, I'm not too concerned about how much weight I might lose or how much weight I might gain. Um, but I know that in these 30 days, like I want to stick to that eight hour as my feeding window. And you know, anything before that, anything after that, I don't want anything a part of it. I want to stick to the rules as best as I can and, uh, and just see how, how, how it works. And so, you know, a lot of people like they, they have these great goals, but they're not doing anything. You have to execute. You you have to put in the actions to actually attain those goals. It's one thing to say it. It's another thing to do it. And I think there's a lot of people out there that they have these great goals in mind, but they never execute. If you're not executing, then you're just wasting your time. All it is is a bunch of thoughts in your head and you're not doing anything. So, you know, my goal for you, if you're listening right now, is to write down that goal. You know, when do you want it by? And then what you're going to do to do it. You know, if you want to lose 10 pounds in one month, how many times are you going to go to the gym in the week? You know, what are you going to do when you're in the gym? Do you know what you're going to do? You know, what are you going to do from a from a from a diet standpoint? You know, do you do you have your meals already ready to go? Listen, I'm more than happy to help in that. Okay, I uh, you know, let me uh, use my four-year bachelor's degree and uh, and help out when it comes to that. So. Um, you know, my, my big thing today is, is prepare yourself for success. One of the keys to success is preparation. And so uh, if you prepare yourself the right way, uh, you will not fail. So I hope you enjoyed day five. Uh, I'm looking forward to day six.